Hello and welcome to a short tutorial video on how to install Matokyo and do some basic setup. So after you downloaded the zip key from the Compatroom homepage, um, you switch to your Joomla backend, choose the extension manager. It's all the same in Joomla 2.5. We're using a Joomla 3.2 installation in this case. But uh, all the stuff I'm going to show you is also working on Joomla 2.5. We choose the zip archive and hit upload and install. Um, as you can see, we already have a nice quick instructions, including a link to the much larger documentation. So you can see all the ties of setting up Matokyo there. Um, Matokyo is an all-in-one package. That means uh, not only the component is installed, so, but also the models and all the plugins coming with the extension. So you don't have to manage that yourself. By default, all these um, plugins are also turned on. Next step after installing Matokyo is creating a category. So we go to the Matokyo screen. This is the events overview, but as I said, we first want to create a category. So we switch to the category section and click on new. And I just create a demo category. Um, that's really the only file you have to fill out. The rest can stay empty if you like. You can, of course, have a custom alias like it is used in search engine friendly URLs. You can set an access level, so maybe the events which are in this category could only be seen by registered users and many other things. But in our case, we just set a um, title, leave the status to published, and save and close as that one. And we're creating another category and close the category manager. As you can see we now have two public categories. Language uh, is all. If you have a multi-language site um, you would choose the value for the events. And next we switch to events and start creating our first event. The event creation is separated in five sliders starting with the basic settings which are required or almost all are required um, additional settings which in most cases you also want to fill out but are not necessary and additional booking files for this event so event specific fields files and overrides um, we start by setting up an event with basic settings. The number is automatically generated, but you can of course replace it by anything you like. Um, you can even change the algorithm on which this is based. Um, by default, it's based on number a number of the event and the current year, and it's automatically increased um, if you um, create a new event. So. Let's set up a title. Let's, for example, create it um, your presentation. Um, we choose the demo category. So, next step is setting a begin. In our example we set in more, the event in one yet to be taken place. If you don't want to show any of these, just hit no and they won't be shown in the front end so it's if you don't want to um, display the closing date or don't even want to use it the closing date says how long an event is possible to book you just hit display no and it is, isn't displayed any longer in the front end we keep that now by the default values um, and switch now to the brief description brief description is shown in the event list overview in the upcoming events overview and um, on the calendar and in some other parts like models and so on. So it should be a very short 
description. Let me suggest less than 250 um, characters. You could of course use more. You can even use HTML here. Even we would uh, suggest not to do so. So this should be a really simple short description um, telling your visitors a bit more about the event. So next is locations. We haven't set up any default location set, so we always have to choose custom location and just type in, for example, the location name. Here you can also type in a nice address. This is what's shown to the users. We have also another address which is used for um, maps, etc. As you maybe know, maps are a bit complicated to get to the right point something and sometimes addresses are not working and you have to write more than you want in the custom location because of this we have separated this into two different files custom location in this case is shown to use the user in the front end so i choose munich germany um, here you choose the organizer so organizer is getting all um, emails when a user books an event, cancels his booking, um, is also informed if something changes and so on. Um, and if you want you can also um, he can also edit his own events and bookings and take a look at them in the front end so you don't have to give them super user admin rights or backend rights you own, uh, you, he can also if you want edit this event and look at the bookings in the front end. Next we choose if it's a webinar or not. In our case we stay with a normal event. We set max participants to 20 and allow booking more than one ticket at once um, and allow booking three tickets in our example. So additional settings. Here you have a nice space for a real long description. You can use any HTML you want and you can even use tags. So you can have tags in this text. Um, for example, when you use SAM registered and type some text between that, um, this text is only showed to registered Joomla users. If you choose SAM booked, this text is only shown to booked users. If you choose them paid, the text is only shown to users who have already paid for the event. So you can have different text, uh, texts for different users. For example, you can tell your certificated users, if you want to use that feature, how they download the certificate or that they can download the certificate or some additional information so you can tell booked people thank you for your booking and so on. The description is not necessary but this is for presenting your event. In the modern templates that the uh, most space is reserved for that. You can use images, you should use images and so on. That's your space to present your event. Next is an, an image for the event overview. This is not intended for the um, event deta uh, detail page. For that you have the description. You have almost the whole page to present your event with this text. This is image is used in the event list overview and in some other spaces um, should be small less than 200 pixel so google maps location i already said that this one is shown in the front end this one is used for showing the google maps if you don't have a google maps location you won't have any map routing to your location for example, I again type Munich Germany in here because uh, that will also work with uh, Google. Next comes the tutor. After the target group, you don't have to fill that fi uh, fields out. If you keep them empty, they will not be shown in the front end. 
Next comes the fees. Of course, you can also have free events. Just enter zero here and the event will be free. You only have two steps in the booking form then, not three, no payment questions and so on. Um, if you want to have fees, just type in how much here. In our case, we haven't changed the setting, we're still with dollar. Um, you can change the currency in the uh, settings section. Next comes the tax rates. Tax rates are used for invoice generation and in some other parts presenting the user how much he has to pay. If you don't want to show taxes, just choose no taxes and, uh, and the tax uh, would not be shown. If you want to set up taxes, you have a different view here. We're going to come back therefore in a later tutorial. Um, in our case, we just keep that empty. Different fees. Um, if you want to have one or two prices for one event, um, you just hit yes here and set them up in the different fees tab or in the overrides if they are event specific. Next, you can set if you heard event is top event, then some CSS style is added to the event, it, it's promoted in the RSS feed and, and different um, sites and we also have a model for that promoting top and hot events. Um, in default it would be get a nice light green background. Um, the same goes for hot event, then you get a light red background going to show that and the word hot next to the title can change that at CSS pretty easy. Um, there's a tutorial in the documentation. Next comes event specific input fields. Um, we have global booking fields and we have event specific booking fields. In most cases you go with the global booking fields but sometimes you want to ask something event specific. So next to files you can choose upload files like images, PDF files, and some other things. You can also choose which user group is to be able to download this file. Everyone registered users, users who have booked this event, and users who have paid that event. Next, we come to the overrides. You can have a custom booking mail for this event. You can have a custom certificate or you can have custom different fees, but these are other tutorials where I'm going to show that again. So in our case, we are just fine. We already set everything up, just one sentence. For example, if you events always start at 18 o'clock or another time, you can set these default values in the settings also. And that not only goes for the times dates, etc., but for almost all important fields here. So you can have always the same location, always the same brief description, always the default value for max participants. That is saving you a lot of time. So this is also another tutorial, but you should notice that already. So I'm saving that there. And we are already done here in the back end. Now we have to create a menu item, at least one for Matokyo. Matokyo offers different views. If you click on new, we see Matokyo offers a calendar view, a event list, a create event view even, a location, um, a single location, an organizer page, you can also show only a single event, you can show upcoming events and so on. There's one type which is mandatory, so you always have to create a menu item for that one. You can do that on a hidden menu, menu so nobody ever sees it directly, but you need that for the search engine friendly URLs. As the routing will fail and you have um, 500 error in Joomla, which isn't nice. So always create this menu item. Most time you also want to show that to your customers, but if you only want a calendar and so on, you only need, uh, you also need this. Never forget this one, so we click on save. 
and switch to the front end. And when we click on an event list, we just see Matokyo with our one event which we just created. As you can see, here's the um, hot next to the title and the red CSS color. If you don't like that, you can of course change the colors and also change the text next to the title. If you click, click here, you get a nice map routing to the location. And we have a detail page where the user is then able to book the event, download a calendar file, contact users, printing the, uh, in some event information. If you don't want any of these buttons for everything here, we have a setting also for this one. If you don't like any content, it's pretty easy to hide these things. So, the most important part and the last part I'm going to show is booking form. As you can see, we have a free event, so it's only two pages high. So that's it. That's about how to set up Matokyo. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just drop us a line.